to me and stabbed me deep into the back. We had it all set up. We were up in the room. Then I look at Mo and I say, Mo, it's Dre, right? And he says, gee, I'm in. I just honestly thought that I was going home. And like, I'm packed right now. My stuff's upstairs, ready to go. Because that's how the conversations were going all day. And I honestly had like come to terms with it. We lost the strongest member of the blue team. Mo shot the team down in one fell swoop. Done. Fell swoop. Gary, he was definitely not happy with my choice, but I have no regrets whatsoever. Hey, all I know is I kept my word. I kept my promise. I did what I had to do, and I can go to sleep at night well. I don't know about anybody else around here. <laughs> sleep easy, Mo. morning the blue team is sitting in the living room and Bob comes in and he takes a quick look around the room and he's like dumbfounded <sighs> what's Kelly doing here he said I'm surprised to see you pointed at me pointed at Dre and then pointed at Mo and said he was surprised to see Mo here Basically, he was surprised to see everyone there except for Aaron. I'm shocked. I'm... Because I know I was going to walk in here and you weren't going to be here. I was shocked, too. And I'm even more shocked that Aaron's not here. Like, I'm shocked about that. You want to talk about it? Yeah, totally. Gary, you want to come over here? So what happened? Don't ask me. Why? Were you, were, you, were you not there last night? Oh, I was there. <laughs> OK, so <laughs> why don't you guys tell me what, what happened? What happened was, it was between me and Aaron. Right. And how'd the votes go? Aaron voted for me, I voted for Aaron, Gary voted for me, uh, Kelly and Mo voted for Aaron. You know, I understand that you guys have to do things that I can't, you know, I, 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 I can't be in that elimination room, you know? I was nauseous. I was sick about it all. And you know what, Bob? All this time, we've had this big thing about communication and the, re the, the our team is so strong in this. At a time when we had to face elimination, no one wanted to talk, no one wanted to open up. If you guys are playing a game, you've got to be adults and play the game. If I was playing the game, my vote would have had Aaron sitting here. You know, I do have all of your best interests at heart, all of you. I will give 110%. You give me 100, I'll give you 110%. I need you guys to be just as committed because if, if you guys aren't committed, then, you know, I don't know what else I can do. Your strongest person is gone now. And you guys have to step it up more than you've ever stepped it up. The red team, they're in it to win it. They're focused, they're 100%. They smell blood in the water and you guys will get knocked off one by one by one. And this is gonna be hard to hear right now, but like I saw four team players and those four team players, one of them is missing. And the one player that I feel like it's not been a team player is you, Maurice. I came in this morning and I was pissed off to see that 
Mo was sitting there in front of a um, plate of food because he's never eaten what I'm telling him to. And then all of a sudden, this is the day that he's going to sit there with this big plate of food. And while talking to me, he's going to eat. Uh-uh. Everyone's been doing what they're supposed to be doing. And it's like, you're, I don't see your commitment anymore. I hear the fork hitting the plate, and it started driving me crazy. All I could hear was that fork hit the plate. Not wanting to cook your own food, and you have those turkey slices, which drives me crazy because you're looking for like the easy way out. This is not easy. You know, it's like, this, you, I don't feel like you've learned anything yet when it comes to living out in the real world. I, I don't see you committed to it. It surprised the heck out of me to see Bob like that. I did not understand his reasoning. I listened to him. You know, it was, it was kind of hurtful. It really was. But all of a sudden, it's my fault. Didn't add up to me. Right now, Mo has got to make the decision to want to be in this game and want to play this game. Because he's not committed. He says he's committed. He's not committed. OK, we're going to be doing stairs today. After the meeting, Bob was still pretty wound up. <laughs> and he took that out in the form of exercise. Dre, you're first. All the way up to the top. Go. All the way up to the top, very top. He said he was going to step it up, and he absolutely stepped it up. Kelly, go. Kelly, go faster. Dre starts running up the stairs, and then she comes down. Kelly goes up. So I'm like, all right, Bob, let's get it on. Go. By the time I got up to the top, I was out, done. My knee was in screaming pain. Dre, go. Got to go faster. Kelly, go. That's it. Come on, let's go. I don't care how you get up here, just get up here. Dre, go. That was the most grueling workout that I have ever seen. And I say seen because I was not able to participate because of my ankle. Up and down, up and down. And it was just terrifying just looking at it. If they want to play a game, I'm going to play a game with them. Dre, you're going to go first. Wind sprints to me. Full out sprint. I needed to find out who was going to be the next strongest person in the Blue Crew. Go. My two girls were the ones up to bat. Kelly, go. And when they wanted to stop, I didn't let them. When they wanted to collapse, it wasn't allowed. When they wanted to sit down, it wasn't an option. Can't stop. We're adding 15 more seconds. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. Please don't stop. 15 seconds added on here. Now you have 30 seconds left. Please don't stop. Pull. <laughs> Trey, you got to keep going. You got to find the strength inside and do it. Four, three, two, and one. Good job. They saw another side of me. They saw another side of Bob today. <laughs> Dre? Yes? Let's go. I have to say something to the two of you. Focus. Focus right now. You guys made a huge mistake. Huge. You are dead in the water. What were we supposed to do? You guys had the power. How we do this? Yes, you did. Nothing we could have done. Yeah. <laughs> Mo and Gary can't move. But it was either Dre or me. It would have anyways. It would so bad to kill one of us, but they gone, no matter what. Aaron refused to talk to me. He said, my mind's already made up, and I'm doing what's best for the team, and he was kicking me off. What was I supposed to do? It changed their mind. Just... <laughs> Well, we need you now, Ben. And, and where am I? I know, but... And it's like, and I'm going to have to be tougher than I've ever been with ben, you guys. bring it. Fine. We'll take it. 100%. Well, then let's do it. Right. All right. As we're leaving the track, Dre and I both just melted. We lost it.
We both were feeling as though Bob was just so disappointed that we were still there. Okay. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Can you hear me? Come on. I feel like I'm made to feel guilty for hurting for myself. Dre. Dre, you are here because you're supposed to be here. That is it. Do not feel guilty about anything. Come on. Come on. It's about your night, so. You deserve to be here. You hear me? You do deserve to be here, Dre. It's said and done. That's it. You're meant to be here, and that's why you're here. We're all here because we, we're supposed to be here, and that's it. The blue team probably is in shambles. Most people are thinking that we will get picked off one by one by the red team now. And it's a possibility, but we'll go down fighting. Nothing about being on a diet is easy. It's just a question of believing it. It's been difficult to break the girls of this mentality that the less you eat, the more weight you lose. It's not the case. They need to be eating a certain amount of calories. It's just unhealthy for them not to. Is there no kind of butter we can have? I still struggle with, we have high calorie days. I don't hit those calories. I eat what I think is an enormous amount of food, and then Jillian adds it up, and she's like, that was 500 calories. Four egg whites is 20 each, that's 80. And the cheeses are 30 each. So that's 80 and 60 is 140 plus 100, that's about 250 calories. We're working out hard. They need to be eating a minimum of 1,200 calories. And they need to be going at least up to 1,500. That's 725 calories for the grilled chicken. It's going to take a lot of time. I know what I'm doing. We'll get results. People are falling apart right now. Oh, my ankle is definitely a problem. Gary can't walk. Mo can't walk. It's tough for anybody that's competitive. Naturally, when you're working out this much, you're bound to get injured in some ways. Right back down. I know how to push and what areas of the body I can push the most on that alleviates from the injured area. All right, let's go. Injured people can still train around their injuries. And with Dave, you just need to be cautious. Keep him doing things that take impact off of his foot. If Kelly, her foot's bothering her, you can easily work around that. You know, I've got to hide it. If I show my teammates that I'm in pain, there's a good chance they'll vote me off. Whoa. Whoa. <gasps> oh, my God! After my workout this morning, we walk in the living room, and there's this humongo mountain of cupcakes. Oh, my God! Whoever eats the most cupcakes in 15 minutes gets a sunset dinner, dinner at, at the, the beach, beach with a loved one from home. No, no, we do it. In 15 minutes, I could probably eat two dozen. Minimum. Ryan was just like, I'll eat 40. And I knew there's no way I'm going to eat 40. That's 4,000 calories. Jillian would kill me. It's just not worth it. And my girlfriend's birthday is this weekend what? coming up. My wife is less than an hour from here. So all of you get away and I'll eat one. And I'll eat two. <laughs> oh, man. I was ready. I still can put away some cupcakes. And I was ready to go to town, mano a mano. I miss my wife immensely. I think we're all going to have to do it. Ryan, you going in? I'll do it. I don't care. Next no, week. don't, Ryan. What if we all ate one and then somebody got ate two? I'm all set. Cake is my thing. I think I have a solution to this. I thought I had a pretty good idea. I wanted to know who was interested in taking advantage of this situation. Who absolutely does not want to play step off the rug? Yep. 
Step off the rug. I don't see how it's worth it. Going off my diet and feeling guilty. So I just kind of stood back. So one, two, three, four. There were five of us. I said, let's put five pieces of paper in a hat. And one of them has a black dot on it. We all pull it. Whoever gets the black dot gets to eat one cupcake and win. Ryan's idea was brilliant. To eat one cupcake, no big deal. It's 170 calories. Okay, look. <laughs> Dave drew the dot and he ate one cupcake. I thought that was a pretty reasonable way of solving the problem and not succumbing to the temptation of all these cupcakes. That sucks. Eat two cupcakes now. You could. You could eat two cupcakes. You could, but that would be real low down. It'd be mean, but you could eat two cupcakes. After Dave had ate the one cupcake, I was thinking how bad I wanted to see my girlfriend. And then I was smelling the cupcakes, and I love cupcakes. And I was looking at the hourglass, and I was thinking, Gosh, I have to make a decision. Uh-oh. Mo, where are you going? Oh, my God. Why are you holding that? I was just holding it because it smelled good. What are you thinking right now? Faith would love to see you all. Put the cupcake back right now. Put it down. Any meeny money mo. <laughs> no, I'm just messing with y'all. I came this close to eating a cupcake. I didn't come this far to cheat. I have a little bit of anxiety about today, seeing my wife. Uh, T is incredibly honest, and she will tell me immediately if she thinks I look any different, better, or worse. I was brought to Moon Shadow Restaurant right down on the beach in Malibu. And as I was sitting there, lo and behold, who walked in but my wife. Are you kidding me? kind of ran to each other. I gave her a big hug and a kiss. It was great. I didn't, I didn't want to let go of her. <laughs> this is great. You know, did you ever imagine, like, that this, you would have got to see me? No. I didn't either. This is totally surreal to me right now. I know. Freaking. Seeing my wife for the first time in a month was definitely more emotional than I expected. She was just, honey, you look great. Big difference, huh? Yeah. I'm not lying, I Yeah, we're here. She's like, I can totally tell. She goes, your face looks thinner. You look great. You look healthy. You look happy. It's like a life rehab experience for everything across the board. I'm glad you're happy. Happy? You look great. Oh, my God. I've never been happier. Seeing Tia today gave me the strength and confidence to really move forward and kick ass and keep going and not pack it in. up nice and early and head to downtown Los Angeles and we we're like what is gonna happen here oh boy the bus pulls up next to this building that's I swear bigger than anything I've ever seen in my life hi everybody hey. remember when you guys got here you could barely climb a flight of stairs today's challenge is gonna be a completely different story 74 stories to be exact this is not only the tallest building in Los Angeles, it's also the tallest building west of the Mississippi. Are you for real? Is it really? <laughs> you guys are going to have a race to the very top. Unbelievable. <laughs> the first team to climb all 1,500 stairs 
will win the ride of a lifetime. And don't forget, the winning team decides who sits out the next way in because the red team has an extra player. Getting control of that decision could be the difference in winning the next way in and facing elimination. The red team, we obviously have an advantage. We have five people. The red team has to win this challenge so that we can decide who sits. Unfortunately, blue team Gary and Mo are injured and not medically cleared for this challenge. That leaves Kelly and Dre to represent the blue team. Red team, Kelly and Dave are also injured. So you're going to randomly select two players to go head to head against Dre and Kelly. Okay, Lisa, come pick. Go ahead. Ryan, you're not in. I'm not in? <laughs> what? You guys are in. So basically, it's Kelly and Dre against Matt and Lisa of two different stairwells. First one to the top of the building wins. We certainly want to prove to the guys that we are strong, if not stronger than them. Literally, you're playing for your survival. I was a little nervous about running up that building. I mean, I usually can get about 15 flights, if that. And this is 74 flights. It's a lot of riding on my shoulders. So, everybody ready? Yeah, let's do this. All right. On your mark. Get set. That's fine. Oh. 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 I don't feel good. I'm not rushing you, Lisa. I'm getting freaked out. <laughs> to the 34th floor, and Lisa started freaking out. No, please open the door, please! Calm, just calm, try to calm down. When you start to get freaked out about something, and then it makes it worse, your anxiety gets up, and your stress, and, and just, uh, I, I think it just turned into a big spiral. <laughs> nice. I gotta get here! They're coming, they're coming. 
I'm not a doctor, but based on what I saw, it was uh, an anxiety attack, a panic attack. Oh, God. Hurry, hurry, hurry! I don't think I can do any more, man. I'm serious. It's not just a physical challenge, it's a mental challenge. Fortunately, I think the mental part got to Lisa. I'm inspired by you, Kelly. I'm coming. No, I am. I'm just telling you. Swear to God, you're kicking ass right now. I'm gonna take your blood pressure here. I have really bad anxiety, though. It could be anxiety. And... <coughs> Come on, Chris, try to calm down. We're gonna need to get over the ambulance, okay? No, I'm not going. I have to finish this. If it's me, this is getting easier. Lisa, we did great. We did great. Don't worry about it. I want to go. It's the finish line, baby. We did it. Let's go. Go. Oh, come on, go. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, go. speechless. I amazed myself today. It definitely was the most difficult thing physically I've ever done in my entire life. I didn't feel frantic and I didn't panic and I think those are two things that really helped us make it all the way to the top. <laughs> this is an amazing feat for Kelly and I and I'm glad that we won as two females. Woo! Give it up for the ladies. Actually yeah. is a huge turning point in the game for the blue team. We kicked tail. Red team wasn't even a thought in our mind. Yeah! You guys just won the biggest challenge for us. The biggest. Thank you. By winning the challenge, the blue team actually got two rewards. The first reward, we actually get to pick which red team member that we wish to sit out during the weigh-in. That is huge. And the second part of the reward was that we had a helicopter come and take us for a scenic view all over the city. I'm an accountant at a travel agency, which would lead you to believe that I like to travel. But there was no way that I was getting in a helicopter and flying anywhere. We just take the most amazing ride over L.A. I got to see Dodger Stadium, and they were actually doing batting practice. They looked like ants, but I got to see the Dodgers. Oh, my God. That's awesome. See all the homes and beach, and gosh, it was, it was just magnificent, a magnificent prize. I and mean, this was a huge win for the blue team. We were feeling kind of low, and uh, it was a big boost for our morale. and I can see Bob sitting on the front steps. And he doesn't look excited, so I don't think he knows yet that we've won. I got bummed out thinking, oh, damn, they lost. And I don't, I don't know how I'm going to have that you lost speech again. <laughs> then all of a sudden, they come around, and they're as happy as can be, and so I knew at that moment that we had won. <laughs> how did you feel? I mean, was it just like... It was awesome. When I was climbing today, all I kept thinking was, I really want to do this for myself, but finishing first, 
will be a great way to show Bob that everything he's done for us has really worked. We did intervals. You did intervals. Yeah. And then just like at you're the used end, to. Yes. All of a I'm sudden, you like yes, yes. I know. All of a sudden, it just became easier. My breath came, and it just felt right. like you stopped sweating, right. and you see the end. And we just, we just took it. We just. <sighs> and when did they come in? They. Oh, we don't know. They have some issues. Oh, really? They had issues. We were doing amazing. We flew up the steps. She didn't complain once. We were cheering each other on. It was like, come on, Lisa, come on, Lisa. High fives, all that kind of stuff. Got to the 34th floor. Then she started freaking out. You know how she gets. She and she's freaked, like, freaked. she's like, I don't know why. I don't know why. And she's, like, she's banging on the door for air. She's like, I need air. She, I need she air. She snapped. So uh, she took a, got taken away in an ambulance and then oh to the God. hospital. The moral of the story, the mind is stronger than the body. Yeah. And what's your speed? Three. Three? Arms up. Hey! Hey! Triceps. Lily! You all right? I did what my best. It? That's all I could do. Honey, we don't blame you for anything. Lisa, we're not upset. We're not even, like, a little like, bit. please. I, there was nothing that I could do. <laughs> Honey, no. we're not mad. Come here. Yeah. I do not mean fine. to disappoint the team. I you did it. You guys... Honey, we're having a good day. It's Matt, fine. We're smiling. let me just talk. Okay, go ahead. Matt zoomed up he you what, told me to go ahead and i, I and wanted I waited you to honey he was the road runner and i was trying to catch up with him and i just Lisa, none of us can catch up with him boy. matt is the speed so demon on that thing that's what i've said all day i mean i could have told him look matt if you keep up with my pace i'll give you a million dollars he wouldn't even care he boom he didn't care and what did you do i had to stand there and listen to the blue team win i was like oh it sucks I don't care. I'm not mad. I'm... Yeah, but Matt, those are the kinds of things that are hurtful. Oh, I just had to sit up there and watch the blue team win while Lisa is on her way to the hospital. <laughs> I didn't mean anything by it. Babe, it doesn't mean anything by I it. I couldn't help it, I swear. There's nothing Matt could have said in this challenge to make it better for Lisa. No matter what Matt said, Lisa would have blamed him for saying the wrong thing. Lisa's putting the blame on other people for her failures. You guys, level five. Speed three five. And I, I'm That's having... okay. The doctor told me to go home and go to bed, and I'm out here like with my two fourteen blood pressure. Well, then... I thought I would at least do the treadmill for a little bit. I mean, everybody else that went to the hospital got to just oh do the treadmill. Honey, do you're making me do these. Right. Shut up! Did I not just sit here and say go inside? And what did you say? I do, what, what did, did just, you say? I just wanted to do the treadmill, Billy. Billy this Lisa, is... why do can't it. I just stay on the treadmill? Do it then. Honestly, he is not insulting you. I am not insulting you. I, I never told said you that to go one. Inside. Matt, did I ever say you're insulting yes. me? Yes. Yes, and he's not trying to insult you. I didn't think you was. Okay, honest to God. Lisa. It's one thing to not be able to complete a challenge. It's another thing to not accept responsibility for your own issues. If you want to go in, go in. You want to stop, stop. I just realized that the game is changing. It's about personality. It's about people that are driving you crazy. People have been more edgy, more snappy, more snooty, more bitchy. I mean, people are just getting sick of each other. Sorry, I need the sunglasses. It's not even sunny in here. Fine. It is putting it lightly to say we're having friction with Matt right now. Matt needs to be the center of the universe to himself. And unfortunately, this is not a place where he can be the center of our universe. Oh, you're right. Matt's incredibly annoying. <laughs> He's young, and I keep reminding myself of that, but Matt is annoying. <laughs> His jokes are old. The, the, the gay thing's getting old. You know, not everybody can wear Gucci. Not everybody, they don't want everybody wearing Gucci. Right. right. But apparently only the thin people can wear Gucci. Well, I don't know anything about Gucci. I don't want to have to deal with it. Dave. 
talks a lot of They pulled you and put you together with Kelly, but they wanted Kelly to turn you. Talks behind people's backs. Two-faced, phony piece of Talks about everybody. He is, he's like Baby Yui. He's a big baby. I have no respect for anymore at all. And it's Two-Faced, so I've kind of picked up on that. Dave needs to go home. How long you been on this? About 30 minutes. 30 again? 30 minutes. 30 minutes? I don't see any sweat on you. How you been on there for 30 minutes? I have. So we're gonna do an hour of cardio in the individual training. Excellent. Looking forward to it. I'm sure. Can't imagine you wouldn't be. 35 minutes. How are you this morning? You need another 25. Yeah, but my ankle's killing me, so I'm icing it, and I'm not doing it, because my ankle's really bothering me. And now my other one's starting to bother me. That's why I stopped. As a person, I love Dave. I think he's funny, and he's fun, and he's smart, and he's a great guy. I don't think anyone can deny the fact that he's not doing the work. He has been dishonest about his injury from day one. He gets lazier and lazier. And now, when we need him to perform the most, he's, he's most lazy. Lisa's working, Matt's working, Ryan's working, Dave is not. Kelly is injured, Gary is injured, <sighs> Mo is injured. They're all out there screaming and grunting and sweating and crying. One more. And Dave is laying on his back. Jillian really disappointed me today. Jillian has always depended on me. Now all of a sudden I'm like evil Dave who's not training hard enough and not working hard enough. So I went and confronted Jillian with that. Right in her face. You know, while the three of us are here, four of us are here, I think it's a good time to talk about the fact that I'm almost 40 years old and when I know something's bothering me, I stop. Okay. Uh, can right. I finish? Yes, you're right. I stop because I know when I need to stop because this is a marathon, not a sprint. Here's the thing. That I'll is be honest, not a lie. I know when you're giving it your all and you're nowhere near giving it your all. I got Gary with bursitis in there, killing himself. That's Mo not me. That's Gary. Treadmill. That, you're hurting am I wrong? the team. I am not you hurting the not team. Work out. It, it is. I do it. not not work out, Jillian. You make it sound like I never work out. I work out heavily. I do a lot. What I'm saying to you is just this morning I didn't chill out for a second. How does a hurt ankle affect abs and arms? Maybe if we do lunges and it hurts your ankle, then you just stand and do the weights. You modify. You don't give up. There right, are Lord. other things you can do, Dave. I understand there, And that. you're not doing them, which is why I'm I, upset. Some days I feel great and other days I don't. Getting back to the lying. I never lied. And you know something? For you to say in there that I lied to the team is bull****. Don't ever accuse me of lying. My ankle is fine on particular days. It comes and goes. That is not a lie. Get the definition straight. Jillian crossed the line. You don't attack someone's integrity. You've made it impossible to train you. Oh, bull****. Here's what I do now. I'm like, all right, Dave, do this and this and do whatever you want to do. No, you actually took the attitude, Dave, you know what you're doing, so go do it. I don't need to babysit you. Now you're spinning that. No, I felt that way. Conversation's okay. over. on the treadmill, I envision what it's going to be like when Lisa goes home. My family will be so proud of me. To have made it this far is just such an achievement, and I'm glad I'm here, and I hope that I'm here the whole entire time. I mean, I hope I win this thing. I've lost 36 pounds. My clothes are much bigger on me. I really don't fit in the same clothes anymore. 
people have been going through my pictures and saying I look thinner than I look in some of those pictures from like four years ago. So, and when you start thinking good about yourself that way, it makes you start looking at yourself better all around. I'm trying to just take things day by day and trying to wake up every morning and embrace that I'm here still and I just feel really lucky that I have this opportunity to put my life on hold and come here and work on myself. No one can motivate you if you don't want to do it. You can have trainers like us screaming in your face. You can have someone plan your diet. If you don't want it for you, you will never reach your goal. As the game progresses, the money is becoming more and more real to me. Um, you know, I could just imagine, you know, walking in and giving my mom the keys to a new house. Or, you know, my sisters, you know, telling them to look outside and giving them the keys to a new car. You know, the money really would help. But most of all, I want to be healthy. The morale for the blue team is wonderful. We're here, we never left, but now it's higher than before, and now it's really time to rev it up and kick butt, and that's exactly what we plan to do. Blue team gets to sit someone at the weigh-in tonight, and I'm not really sure who it's going to be yet. It's a toss-up between their two big guys, Matt and Ryan. Matt lost a bunch of weight, but then he gained weight, then he lost again. I can't tell who's lost more weight between myself and Matt. It's time once again for the weigh-in. Blue team, last week you failed to lose as much weight as the red team, and you were forced to send one of your teammates home. We're about to find out if you're going to lose a player for the second week in a row, or, red team, are you going to be sending somebody home? All right, blue team, the first step in the right direction was winning this week's challenge. Very impressive. So you get to pick one member from the red team to sit out the weigh-in. Who have you guys chosen? Matt. Matt, your weight loss won't count for your team this week. But last week you lost 17 pounds. Let's see how much you lost this week. Come on, Matt. Your previous weight was 274 pounds. Current weight... ...264. You lost another 10 pounds. Awesome. Unfortunately, that won't apply to your team's total, but you have lost 46 pounds since you've been here. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, it's time to begin the official weigh-in. Ryan, you're first. Come on, Ryan. Previous weight, 294. Current weight... 281, you lost 13 pounds. Yeah! Yeah! Immediately, we're happy because they chose the wrong person to sit out. So, that I lost more than Matt made me feel good. Gary, it's your turn. Last week, you lost seven pounds. Let's see how you did. I know I worked out hard this week, and I looked at Ryan, I said, mm, he lost 13 pounds. If I could come close to him, that kind of takes pressure off of my teammates. Previous weight, 206 pounds. Hundred and ninety-five. You lost eleven pounds. You're under two hundred. You are five pounds under two hundred. When was the last time you weighed under two hundred pounds? About twenty years ago. Fantastic. So far you've lost a total of thirty-four pounds. Nice job. Lisa, it's your turn. Last week you lost 12 pounds. Let's see how you did this week. Previous weight, 213 pounds. Current weight, 
207. You lost six pounds this week. This is the lowest weight I have been in at least four years. Keep pushing myself. I keep following the diet, and and I'm I'm so proud of myself that I've actually stuck to something. Dre, it's your turn. Monday. Previous weight, 200 pounds. Current weight, 192. You lost eight pounds this week. I was just blown away. I was ecstatic for myself to be less than 200 pounds. <laughs> and know that I'm only gonna keep getting further and further away. I mean, I can't, I can't put into words how happy I am right now. Blue team and red team, you each have two people left to be weighed. You have each lost 19 pounds so far. Dave, it's your turn. Last week you lost seven pounds. All right, let's see how much you weigh. Dave. Previous weight, 233 pounds. Current weight, 225, you lost eight pounds. Woo! Right, bud. I watched my diet explicitly, managed my injury. I lost weight. I lost more weight than I thought I was going to lose. You know, his ankle did hurt, but I think he could have lost even more if he would have really worked harder. Kelly Mack, last week you lost five pounds. Let's see how you did this week. Come on, Kelly. Mack. Kelly, Mack. Kelly Mack. Previous weight, 204 pounds. Current weight. 194, you lost 10 pounds this week. I was expecting maybe five or six. So that little push for the extra 10 was really awesome. And I'm really excited to be in the hundreds now. Dre and I are calling our bedroom the 100 club. It could not be closer, you guys. Blue team, you've lost 29 pounds. Red team, you've lost 27 pounds. You each have one person left to be weighed. Kelly Min, last week you lost 10 pounds. You are the last person on the red team to be weighed. Let's see what your team's total weight loss is. I've lost 27 pounds. I've lost the most of all the women. I'm nine pounds behind the boys who weigh over 100 pounds more than me. Previous weight, 215 pounds. Current weight. 211, you lost four pounds this week. It's a loss. When I saw that I'd only lost four pounds, I was like, I just lost it for the red team. When you're used to losing, you know, like 10 and 15 and four seems pretty low. Red team, you lost a total of 31 pounds this week. Awesome. Blue team, you've lost 29 pounds so far. Mo, in order to win this weigh-in and avoid elimination, you have to have lost more than two pounds. I was thinking, oh my gosh. I remember the week when I stepped on the scale and I had lost no weight whatsoever. My heart was like racing. I was sweating. Everything came down to my weigh in. All right, get on the scale. Come on, Mom. Previous weight, 415 pounds. I was just hoping, please don't let the number zero show up on that scale. Current weight. Mo, in order to win this weigh-in and avoid elimination, you have to have lost more than two pounds. It was a part of me that thought, maybe we don't have this as much as I thought we did. Mo has lost nothing before. What if we're in that pattern again and he's lost nothing again this week? All right, get on the scale. 
Come on, Mo. Previous weight, 415 pounds. I was just hoping, please don't let the number zero show up on that scale. Current weight. You lost 14 pounds this week. Yes! yes. yes. You are this Woo. week's biggest loser. Yes! Woo. yes. Good job, buddy. Woo. <laughs> it's definitely a sweet victory for me. It was just so sweet to actually hear Caroline say, you are the biggest loser this week. Oh! <laughs> Blue team, you've lost 43 pounds. Red team, you've lost 31 pounds. Blue team, you are this week's biggest losers. Yeah. Red team, unfortunately, you have to send one of your teammates home. I'll give you the next day to decide who is weighing you down. Keep up the great work. You look amazing. Good night. Good night. Good night. the way in just goes to show you that you can't predict jack about this journey a key portion of this night is going to be these alliances i gotta do damage control listen to me we are gonna stay together he's gonna go home he's gonna think he's not i'm gonna make three guys think it's going with you and let me tell you something we're not gonna do what we did the last elimination and this lunatic day <laughs> expense of our souls and our hearts and our nervous systems. Okay. This is just a big chess game, and I am thinking many, many moves ahead. Let's keep it cool. Let's stay apart. And I'm not sure who Dave's going to vote for, because Dave, one minute I know he's telling Matt and I were the three of us in an alliance, and the next minute he's telling Kelly and Lisa, hey, we're together. I know that he's playing like me and Matt against the three, too. <laughs> like he's saying, you know, it's guys against girls. Let's get rid of one of the girls. And then he's going to you guys and saying, Let's the three of us team up and get rid of Matt and Ryan. It sucks, because now the red team has to eliminate someone, but it's the way the cookie crumbles. I still want to stay because I know I've had results, but they're not enough. I haven't gotten everything I wanted. And this is one time in life where I'm going to say, I'm staying until I get what I want. This is not easy. This is a lifestyle change, and I'm so glad that I had this opportunity to come on this journey. I don't ever want to go back to that old Lisa. I want you to see the real me. The things I've learned to be here, to survive here, are going to make me so much more successful as a survivor in the real world. I'm going to be such a better person, so that's why I don't want to leave. This experience has been nothing but life-altering. I don't want to quit. I've learned to have the confidence to know that I can things, and I can do things for myself, and to not be so afraid. When Matt came to me this morning, he really looked like he needed a friend. He's very worried that the entire house doesn't want him here. Like, if you found out everybody was against you on your team, what would you do? So you think they are after you? I don't know. Has Dave came to you all and said that he wants to get one of the girls? Yeah. We've had that line since day one. Lisa is the loose cannon. She is. Y'all never know what the hell she'll do. Your best bet is to get rid of Lisa and make Kelly join with you. And that way, the next week, if you do have an elimination you have to go under, get Dave. Y'all have to use some... I hate that. I know I you like do, that. but you're going to hate it being at home. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know. Yeah. You don't be known as the guy that just rolled over just because people didn't want you there. I told him it was time to fight. 
I don't care what the girl is saying. We have an alliance. Three of us met in the bedroom last night, and we determined that we were going to stick to your plan. You wanted to take Lisa down first. Originally, the alliance was me, you, and Ryan, and that alliance was to take down Kelly. But then you suggested Lisa, and we all accepted. Then last night when I left the bedroom, I said to you, two of you need to make up your mind. So you and Ryan, when you figure it out, tell me. Okay? <laughs> foolish young boy. Foolish, foolish young boy. Coming up, who will have to pack their bags and say goodbye? I feel like this person is bringing me down mentally and I just can't take it anymore. Then, find out if the eliminated player followed what they learned and see for the first time what they look like today. Lisa, do you think that your teammates blame you for losing the challenge this week? The group had a nice discussion, and I don't feel that kind of pressure that they blame me for the challenge. Ryan, last week the blue team eliminated their biggest loser, and you are this week's biggest loser for your team. Are you worried that your team is going to send you home? Uh, there's always a chance. I feel pretty good right now, but you know what? I could be the sucker at the table. Who knows? Well, it's elimination time. We'll go around the table, and you'll each have to reveal which of your teammates that you feel you should be sending home. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to cut the fat. Lisa, which of your teammates do you feel should be sent home? I feel like we all are a team. We all need to support each other. We all need to encourage each other. I just feel like there's one person from the team that is too absorbed with themselves. I feel like this person is bringing me down mentally and I'm bringing me down physically and I just can't take it anymore. And I'm sorry. I chose Matt. Okay, Matt, that's one vote for you. Which of your teammates would you like to vote out of here? I really struggled all day with this. This person and I were pretty close. We always had like a bond and everything and recently I had found out that the person was going around stabbing me in the back. Then the challenge came and it was lost. The challenge was not finished and I'm afraid that that could possibly happen again. And, and I chose Lisa. All right, that's one vote for you, Lisa, one for Matt. Ryan, who would you like to send home? The person I'm sending home is a, a great person, and um, I would trust this person forever, and this person would never lie. Unfortunately, I've had to lie to them. I chose Matt. Lisa, that is one vote for you. Matt, that's two votes for you. If you get one more vote, you'll be eliminated. Dave, which of your teammates would you like to send home? It's very hard here to exist without people that you feel are in your corner or someone you'd want in your foxhole. I need people around me that make me feel good and that I don't always feel like I have to keep pulling up and picking up and brushing off. And that is why I'm voting for Matt. All right, that's three votes for Matt. We don't even need to see Kelly's vote. Henry. Kelly? Unfortunately, I had a vote off Matt.
That's four votes for you. Your team has decided that you are not the biggest loser. You're going to have to pack your bags and say your goodbyes. Is there any final words that you'd like to say to your teammate? <laughs> you stabbed me in the back. How can I stab you in the back when you just stabbed me in the back? Apparently you did it to me anyway, so it didn't matter. Well, we both did it to each other, fine. I'm at least going to admit it that I've stabbed you in the back. All you do is run your mouth, you talk to everybody, and you make people feel like all around the house. Matt, you can't speak for all of us. That's not true. She makes me feel really good. That's it. You'll no longer see me. <laughs> All right, Red Team, you have lost another player, but you can still triumph next week if you stick to your diets and keep focused on your workouts that you won't be back at this table. When I leave this house tonight, it is the beginning of a new life. I've lost 46 pounds so far, and I've had the honor and privilege of being here. I'm just so grateful, and I will always cherish this experience for the rest of my life. I know I'm not going to leave here and be the same person, and it's only for the better. The person I'm going to miss the most is Jillian. I can pretty much honestly say that Jillian's one of the main people in my life that have never stopped pushing me, never stopped caring, and honestly wanted to see me succeed. And I'll never forget that.